Honorable Members of the British Houses of Commons and Lords, Distinguished Bishops, Dear Friends, Greetings to everyone. I'm grateful for your attention to the issue of Iran and the Iranian people's human rights, resistance and freedom. The P5 plus 1 nuclear talks with the clerical regime and its consequences has placed Iran in the center of international attention over the past three years. 16 months have passed since the nuclear agreement was signed, so uh, there has been enough time to test various policies. The nuclear agreement was an opportunity for the mullahs to change their behavior or at least stop creating crises and international terrorism. However, they increased their aggression and warmongering in the region, particularly in Syria. The Iranian regime remains the most hostile and significant contributor to instability in the region. Some thought that uh, human rights would improve in Iran in the past year. However, nearly 1,000 people were executed. Rouhani's interior minister has admitted that they arrest some 600,000 people every year. These figures are only part of the reality. The Mullah's regime uh, preserves its power by making arrests and by torture and executions on a daily basis. These are accompanied by a constant and uh, systematic crackdown on women and youth, arbitrary arrests and harassment of religious minorities, including Christians, even the arrest of British Iranians, censorship of uh, free access to the internet and prohibiting concerts. Uh, on the opposite side, our people and resistance have been uh, advancing in their quest for freedom. A major achievement has been the justice-seeking movement launched to demand justice for the uh, 30,000 political prisoners massacred in summer 1988 in Iran. The mullahs uh, for long tried to uh, conceal this horrific crime. The distribution of an uh, audio recording of the remarks made by Mr. Montazeri, the ousted successor to Khomeini, revealed a new uh, dimension of the massacre. The Iranian resistance is working uh, through supporters in Iran to collect the uh, documents and evidence in this regard. Our aim is to have the international community recognize this tragic massacre as a crime against humanity and prosecute the officials who were responsible. If uh, the international community had not remained silent and passive in this regard, uh, letting the uh, criminals uh, evade uh, justice, the wave of executions and uh, repression in Iran could not have uh, continued to date. Another important development has been the spread of anti-government protests across the country. Thousands of people uh, gathered on October 28th, uh, staging a protest against the mullahs in Persepolis uh, at the tomb of Cyrus, who was the founder of ancient Iran and the writer of a human rights charter 25 centuries ago. And finally, uh, 
Uh, I would like to point out a great achievement and a major victory of the Iranian resistance in recent months, namely the safe and sound relocation of all members of the People's Mujahideen of Iran from Camp Liberty to Europe. Uh, the mullahs did everything to stop this relocation. They tried to have some PMOI's officials arrested by uh, fake judicial verdicts. Mm, they launched rocket attacks to kill all camp residents with uh, PMOI's efforts and an international campaign by the Iranian resistance, the uh, mullahs plots failed. This last year, relocation was the uh, greatest blow to the mullahs. Uh, I would like to sincerely appreciate all the efforts and support given by the British people's elected representatives in both houses of parliament and also the United Kingdom church leaders for this great relocation. Honorable friends, the Iranian resistance strives for a republic based on freedom, equality, and a separation of religion and state, a country where the death penalty is abolished. We seek to end the uh, Mullah's Sharia law and uh, guarantee freedom and equality for followers of all religions. I uh, plead for your support, the elected representatives of Britain, the UK Church, and all humanitarian people in the United Kingdom to help and support further this struggle. Uh, the justice-seeking movement is a just common cause with roots in human dignity. Uh, we need your assistance in this movement. We need your support to encourage Western governments to recognize the Iranian people's struggle for regime change. Once again, I thank you all. I hope to be able to see you very soon.